Hey guys. I haven't been on that much in like a year, and that's because I've believed a lot of different things before. I've believed uh, church, being in church, the Holy Spirit, being in the Bible. I've believed not being in the Bible for years and just going by the Holy Spirit. And I believed that the Holy Spirit is done. I figured out that's over too. And Christianity is over and all that. Those are those are some facts if the Bible's true. That isn't belief. Those are facts. If the Bible's true, then Christ already returned and Christianity is done. It's over with. And the Holy Spirit was only given in the last days. And that's done too. Which is why everybody that has the Holy Spirit disagrees with each other and the things that they say whenever they think that God's talking through them and everything. They wind up being lies because all that stuff is done. So I haven't been on in a while because I can't trust my belief. It's hard to, after believing different things and then realizing that they're over and done and then I was completely wrong and saying them like they were gospel in fact and then finding out how wrong I was, it's hard to actually accept a belief that I have now. But <clears throat> you still can't help what you believe. And this is what I believe. This is the best that I can come up with. And on the other side of that, though, if you think about it, I mean, if I think about it myself and what I've done, the reason that I've gotten to where I am now is from believing those other things, and it's through trial and error. So believing those things wholeheartedly and then finding out that they're wrong uh, because they just didn't add up, you know, that is how I came to where I am now. So maybe I should do that again. Maybe I should just give a hard stance on what I believe allow myself to accept what I believe at the moment as being truth, and then see where it goes from there. Wait for the axe to fall or find out, hey, this is right. Or find out ways to tweak it that I have wrong, you know? But this is just about what I believe at the moment, because I think I'm gonna start doing videos again and everything. <clears throat> so what I actually believe, and I can't help what I believe, belief is belief, you know? I can act like I don't believe it, I can, try to say that I don't believe this way, but this is what I believe because of the things that I've seen and done and because of studying before and just life, you know? So I believe that Christ was a real person at the moment. I can't prove that. I do believe it. I believe basically in a nutshell that God made man. Man fell. God used the Jews to bring a savior to the world and that the gospel had to be preached to all the people who had ever heard the law or been uh, involved with the Jews, you know? People that knew about a Messiah, people that knew about the Jewish law and the Jewish God and how they brought only one God to the world through Abraham. So I think they all had to hear the gospel and then the end came and Christ returned. That would be a fact, if the Bible's true, it would be a fact that Christ did return and that the end has already come. That wouldn't be a belief, that would be a fact if the Bible's true, or at least if the story the main story of the Bible is true because obviously there's going to be errors in the Bible and everything. So I believe that, but that God sent Christ to the whole world to redeem them and that nobody's in Adam anymore. And what Christ actually did was he made it to our flesh doesn't matter. See, before people were kept out of heaven, whatnot, because our flesh was still weighed in the balance. But after Christ finishes the law and finishes the old world, he was the Omega. He came at the end. He was the last Adam. We can't still be an Adam. He came at the end of the world to redeem them who were born under the law and to redeem the whole earth. So <clears throat> everyone on the planet. So now we wouldn't even have to know about Christ and you can't be Christian because all that's over. Christ's work is finished and he delivered the kingdom back up to God so that God can be all and in all and this is why people are in heaven now like if you ask my favorite thing to say to Christians are all their gospel songs all the secular songs of people who believe all your churches and everybody they'll tell you that your loved ones are in heaven you know all the gospel songs and my mom's in heaven can't wait to get there they're looking down on me whatever but the Bible clearly stated that Jesus Nobody went to heaven until he returned, until the seventh trumpet. So these guys believe everybody's in heaven, but at the same time they believe that Christ hasn't returned yet and the trumpets haven't happened. But 
if the story is true, Christ already returned and he delivered the kingdom back up to God and now God is all and in all. And the reason that we live like this today where nobody really knows what's going on and there's no set truth anywhere is because God only sees our hearts now. It's not about the doctrine. It's not about um, what we believe, you know, what, what we were raised in, what kind of doctrine we were raised in, whether we were born Muslim or Christian or whatever, Buddhist. That's not what God's looking at anymore because Christ's blood covered the earth. Our bodies are made up out of the earth. And it ran onto the earth and covered our flesh. So our flesh doesn't matter. And now the problem we have today is people going back to Christianity. Going back to the time before the law ended. Going back to trying to keep your flesh holy. Just like the Holy Spirit that people believe. I'll make separate videos on these topics. But right now I'm just trying to give you the gist. The basic whatever of what I believe. But uh, so... The problem we have today is the flesh. People still think that the flesh matters. They think it matters what you eat, what you drink, what you wear, what you don't wear. If you're naked, sex with this person or that person or marriage or whatever. They believe all those things, what you listen to, all that stuff. And what that does is it causes people, it causes you to, whenever you think that the flesh matters, it causes you to judge other people's flesh and your own flesh. And then that causes you to do all the evil in the world. All the evil in the world comes from this. The theft, the rape, the murder. If you, if you believe like I believe, that heaven is open now, and we're no longer waiting for Christ, and that our flesh doesn't matter, then you can have a good, peaceful life where you don't care if you die because heaven's open. You're, you're not waiting around, you're going straight into heaven, right? Whenever you die. And you have no reason to steal to prolong your life or to get gain or to make yourself feel better in this life or to even eat. You got no reason to do that. You've got no reason to hate somebody else for their flesh or their lusts or, you know, they lust after this person or this type of person or that person and that you don't have to judge them for their sex or anything because you know in yourself that your flesh is the same way. You feel the same way. Uh, about things you have your own desires that you just try to hide from you know because this is a dying body There's no way that we can not have certain desires like that in a body that dies. We're not perfect here But it doesn't mean that we can't be perfect in the heart even with doctrine if you can't you can't explain things And you were just born in Christianity or something. How can that possibly matter? You know, I do think there's a difference in people who push the lies down and the people who are just ignorant, you know ignorant Christians they were just born in Christianity, they're just happy-go-lucky, you know, they just believe that way because they were told. But then there's people that really get into church and start learning about the lies and the preachers lying and everybody around them lying. And then if you just stay there after that and are using it for gain in any possible way, I think there is a difference between those people, the blatantly uh, liar, liars and the ignorant people. But if, if people would believe that... God is all and in all and that Christ's work is finished, then you could still believe in Christ, but his work's done. So we're no longer Christian. We're not in him anymore. Now he delivered the kingdom back up to God. God became all and in all. So God sees everything and he sees our hearts. And that's what he judges us by. Not by what we say, because words and all that, that's still just part of the flesh that Christ covered. Not by what we do or eat or drink or don't drink or whatever. And who cares if you die? I mean, who cares if you don't live a long life? Who, if, if you're just going to go to heaven, you know, whenever you die. So that really frees you up. So that's what I believe. I believe that God now, I believe that you can talk to God in dreams, visions, and um, those types of ways, or even experience God throughout the day, if you'd like. Even if you don't know what you're experiencing, you don't have to be smart, you know, you just have to be good. I think that God just sees whether or not you're a good person and the reasons you do things and whether what you're saying is manipulation or what you're doing is manipulation or if you're actually just a genuinely good person. And I really think that that's all that life is about now and that's why everybody's confused and there's no like set truth or doctrine that you can find out that is, uh, you know, perfect like that because that would still be in the flesh part, understanding and all that. It can't matter. So, in a nutshell, I believe that God created man, man fell, God redeemed man, 
And now God is all in and all again. Adam no longer matters. The flesh doesn't matter. It's not weighed in the balance. So now people can enter heaven whenever they die. And heaven's open. You can go straight into heaven and not have to worry. And I think that the biggest problem in the whole world, reiterate again, is judging other people's flesh because then it separates you from them. You think you're better whenever that actually just makes you a liar. Your flesh is going to end in the grave just like theirs is. There's no injustice with God. The reason that your flesh ends in the same spot as their flesh is because your flesh is no better than theirs. We're all born from the same thing, the same earth that has poisonous animals and poisonous uh, plants and everything else and ways to die and and we're all dying, you know. And we all come from the same seed, the same humans, the same race, the same family. So I don't think there's any difference between us in the flesh whatsoever. And I think that it is that trying to, I think that's the rejection of all that Christ did. Whether you know about Christ, or you don't know about Christ. I think that it is just something that in turn happens to evil hearts. And that's why the religion and everything else that uh, you reject Christ just automatically and all that God did through lying to yourself and telling lies and separating yourself from others, thinking that your flesh is better. That's like a rejection of all that God did through Christ. And it's a rejection of what God did for us, you know? We all still want that, but why do we want that? You know, a lot of people, they want to have some kind of purpose and some kind of meaning and they want to preach and they want to do this and they want to, but you do that for what? For power, for worship, to be better than somebody else, to uh, whatever, for ego, whatever. If it's all done and God really is all in and all and the flesh really was covered and doesn't matter anymore, then you can love God. You can enjoy your life. You can do good to people, not judge other people for the same things that your flesh likes. And uh, then it, it, that gets rid of all the, all the bad things, all the rape and the theft and the lies. You don't have to lie about your own flesh whenever you realize that yours is just like theirs. You don't have to hide it, you know. And then you've got no reason to do evil to each other. So that's what I believe, and I can't help what I believe, but that's what I believe so far. And I've been off YouTube for almost a year, basically, and really haven't done a lot of debating or anything in a couple years. But uh, I'm thinking about getting back into it and making more in-depth videos on some subjects that I touched on in here, and a whole lot more, I'm sure. But I can't find anything wrong with that belief, so I'm going to have to stick to it for a minute. And I'm going to have to just pray to God only, and I can't help that I believe that, so... I'm going to keep going with that and stop stop not allowing myself to just because I've been wrong so many times before. Because, like I said, truth is, I can say I don't believe it, but that's what I believe. So I'm going to start getting back into that kind of stuff. Uh, don't go back to Christ. Christ is over. He's in heaven with God where he's supposed to be. He can't be Christian now. Whenever you go back, just like you get the Holy Spirit, all automatically you start thinking... Uh, the Holy Spirit today, you know, you start going back to the law and thinking that your flesh has to be holy. Well, the Holy Spirit was only put in them until the end came. And while Christ was away, it was the earnest of their inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession. And it was to put the law of God in them and write that in them until the law was finished so that they could be justified. But now we don't need that because God is all in and all. And uh, our flesh doesn't matter. So you don't have to have the law in you and get this spirit that's going to cause you to go back to the law. So you shouldn't go back to Christ. You shouldn't go back to Christianity. Because like I said, those are facts. If the Bible's true, then Christ already returned. His work is over. All that's done. The Holy Spirit's done. If the Bible's not true, they throw it away anyway. Either way, it's not to us and we don't need it. But I think that we could still have a peaceful life. And I think it's still fine to love God. It's still fine if you know the real outcome of the story, if I'm right about what I'm saying. It's still fine to really love the fact that Christ came and everything that he did and live a good, happy life with God. Uh, why can't you do that? You know. So really it's just the knowledge. Uh, me preaching this to somebody or telling somebody this isn't going to change who they are, but it could free them up to enjoy a better life while they're here. You know, just through the understanding of it. It's what I believe. I think I'm going to be making videos again.
Thanks, guys.